demonstration of making an accessible PDF from an inaccessible PDF, portable document format, or also referred to as an image-based PDF. When I double click on that PDF, I know it's inaccessible. It opens it in Orbit Doc, which is an, an add-on um, extension to Read and Write for Google. I know it's inaccessible because there's nothing I can do with this document right now in Orbit Doc. I can't have it read aloud. There's nothing to read. And actually, Orbit Doc now, as the most recent update, is actually telling us that we can't find any text in this document. It may not have been scanned using OCR, optical character recognition. However, because we have Snapverter available to us on our Google Drive, we can just uh, follow this instruction. Click here to convert it now with Snapverter. So let's do that. And what it does is say, nice work. Be sure to check your Snapverter finish folder for your converted file. So what we want to do then is go and find that file on our Google Drive within our Snapverter folder, which also has the finish folder. So let's go back to our drive. I'm going to go to my drive. And I could probably just do a search here for Snapverter. Oop. You have to spell it right. And Snapverter comes up. And I'm going to open that folder up and go to the Finish folder. And within that folder, I've done this a few times, or, so there are a few of these documents. Now that inaccessible PDF, the original one that I can't do anything with, is now ha been converted through Snapverter um, to an accessible PDF. So I'm going to open that one up, double click on it within the finished folder, although I, I do know that's accessible, so I could move that document elsewhere. And it'll take a minute, maybe a minute, to launch in Orbit Doc. And what we'll be able to do is now have it read aloud. We can select words. We can access a picture folder. Remember, I couldn't do anything with that before. And just a quick demonstration. This is an example of an image-based PDF. Okay, so um, other things I can do is um, let's select a word and get a picture fo file. Um, Example. These are just standards of um, standards of read and write for Google. Um, here I selected a text earlier, and um, I'll show you how to do that. Select an area of text. It brings up a little voice note there and I can add a I can add a voice note to this now accessible PDF or a text note in response to a question teachers could also leave prompts for students on accessible PDFs it's it's incredibly important to be using these tools um, but it needs to be an accessible PDF to begin with. So just to remember, when I add an annotation to a accessible PDF, I have to share annotations with students. And then um, it will go through that process. And then I can just click on this. Um, little body button there. It's like the miniature icon of Google Classroom and put this accessible PDF in whatever um, whatever folder I want in Google Classroom. And there we've, uh, we've shared an accessible PDF to the entire classroom and the entire classroom. Each student has access to read and write for Google. They can use whatever tool they want. 
um, or will benefit from to access that accessible PDF. They can have it read aloud. Um, they can pick up picture dictionaries. They can start and stop. They can use the screen mask, highlight tools, etc., and also be able to annotate on that document and be able to demonstrate their knowledge. Okay, so that is a demonstration of taking an inaccessible PDF, like an image file of a, a PDF, and opening it in Orbit Doc. And even within Orbit Doc now, it will scan the document, put it in the finished folder in Snapverter, and make it available to you as a teacher to um, share with students.